Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tobruk channel. So today's video is going to be about the signal chain, the path that the sound follows from your guitar to the ears of the listener. And we're going to talk about seven links that may change a lot or may not change a lot the final result, that's to say the, the final sound that you get. I have excluded two links in the signal chain that I cannot show the difference uh, they make. Uh, first one is the sound card, digital audio interface, if you prefer to call it this way, because the only one I have is my Focusrite Scarlett. So, well, I cannot compare my Scarlett with something else. So, that's the first link that I will not show, but of course, uh, the final result might be a lot affected especially by the quality of the preamps you have in your digital audio interface. The second link we're not going to talk about are the strings, because if you go for the strings, you have to talk about the string gauge. As you notice, now I'm not saying string gauge anymore, string gauge, so thanks to all of you guys who have uh, helped me uh, improve my spelling of this word. Uh, yeah, so string gauge, uh, string material, uh, string brands, these kinds of things, you know. That's a lot to say for just one uh, single link in the signal chain, and I think it would deserve a dedicated video. But I don't know if I'm not if I'm gonna do it or not, you know. But okay, that's the reason why I'm not talking about it in this video because it would be too long. So seven links, and let's start with the first one right now. So this first link is gonna be the guitar. Of course, I have chosen two very different guitars. The first one you can see out there is this little Schecter Omen. It comes with passive pickups and a basswood body. And the other one, you don't see it right now, but you're gonna see it in a couple of seconds, is another Schecter, the Hellraiser. It comes with active pickups and a mahogany body. So let's see with all those differences in the spec sheet if the sound's gonna be that much different. Here we go. <laughs> So small difference, clear difference, massive difference, I let you judge by yourself. And let's go now to the second link in the signal chain, the pick. I have chosen two very, very different picks. First one is this little Dunlop thing, 0.73 mm thick, pretty soft. Okay. And the second one is an Andy James signature pickup, looks really very cool very very thick it's two millimeters thick i uh, can't remember uh, what it's made of it's plastic nylon uh, tordex don't know but very different pick very hard so let's hear if that makes a difference here we go <laughs> So, not a massive difference, but as far as clean sounds goes, the fact of changing picks makes a difference. The, the thinnest one is brighter than the biggest one, and I think that's what you would realize if you were trying your own pickups to make this test. And now let's go to link number three. For this third link, I'm not gonna go to clean sound, I'm just gonna go to high gain sound, because we're gonna try the overdrive pedals. I have chosen both my Mower Hustle Drive and my Harley Benton vintage overdrive but the way i'm going to use them is not pedals alone 
The pedals are gonna tighten the bass while I'm using the high gain sound of the amp. So let's see if when you use the pedal as such, it makes a real difference. Here we go. Okay, again, not a massive difference, but a difference anyway. And generally, I'm using the mower for the rhythm parts, and I'm using the Harley Benton for the lead parts, because, as you have heard, it swallows the basses. So, it makes the sound of the lead go higher on mids, and I think it's better for, for the purpose of playing leads. Okay, now let's go to link number four. And for the link number four, I'm going to compare two different amps, two very different amps, should I say. First is going to be my Boogie Rod G5 Infinium, which is the one I'm currently using for pretty much all the demos I have made in the last two or three months. And the second one is going to be uh, Blackstar ID60 TVP, TVP sensor, true valve power. It's a solid state amplifier that tends to emulate the sound of uh, different tubes. Um, you're going to see by yourself if the result is good or not. But Okay, two different type of amps, but still using the same other links for the signal chain. So here we go. So yes, a very clear difference between those two amps, but okay, the result could be completely different if I had chosen two different amps, but if I had two other amps, I would have maybe done another test, but okay, I'm afraid uh, we have to cope with these two. All right, and now let's go to the cab side. When we talk about cabs, we of course talk about the cab and the microphones that's gonna help catching the sound out of the cab, okay? So if you don't know, I'm not using real cabs, I'm using a VST plugin called Torpedo World of Sound, that's a cab simulator. And at first, I'm going to have you listening to the difference uh, between two different microphones while using the same cab, which is a Mesa Boogie 4 x 12 Here we go. So yes, the microphone matters, and now let's see uh, if the cab matters that much. Now we have listened to the microphones. I'm going to use two different cab with the same microphone, which is going to be the SM57. Uh, I have chosen, okay, still the Mesa Boogie, and the second one is going to be a Freed 30, I think. It's a Marty Friedman cab. Uh, let's listen to it.
Okay, so I think this result comes as no surprise for you guys. Of course, changing the cab and changing the make is changing the final result massively. And now let's talk about the seventh and last link of this video. I mean, that's the link that links them all. Jack cables. The first one is going to be this Harley Benton uh, very, very cheap uh, jack. Uh, this kind of jacks are the ones that come with Harley Benton guitars, so uh, they're given for free by Harley Benton, and of course, you cannot expect them to be uh, top of the line. And the second one is the ones that I'm currently using uh, for pretty much all my videos and uh, <laughs> pretty much whenever I play. These are cordial cables. Uh, they're not coming for free, they're like 30 bucks each. Uh, I'm gonna use two of each. The first one to plug the guitar into the overdrive pedal and the second one to plug the overdrive pedal into the amp. Here we go! So among the seven links in the signal chain, I think the jack cables are the ones that have the smallest impact in the final result. Maybe the sound is a tiny little bit brighter with the Harley Benton jacks, or uh, maybe the definition is a bit better with the cordial jacks, but I mean, that's really something very, very hard to listen to. And of course, when you're using better jacks, it's generally not in order to improve your sound, but in order to have something of better quality that's not going to let you down and that's more solid, basically, that, that's the name of the game. And there's something really interesting in this cordial jack is that it has something that's cutting the sound out of the amp as long as the jack is not plugged into the guitar. If you can see it, this little thing here. If you plug the jack into the guitar, this thing comes uh, down and then you can listen to the sound. As long as the jack is not plugged, this thing stays up and it's cutting the sound out, so you have absolutely no noise. Very interesting jacks. Okay, so well, that was uh, the video I wanted to make about the signal chain, just to show uh, to everybody, if you want to improve your sound, what can you uh, act on? What's the link that's going to make a massive difference? What's the link that's going to make a tiny difference? was links that gonna make pretty much no difference at all or really something insignificant, okay? So I hope it's gonna help you guys if you don't know what to act on to improve your sound to well find the link you have to, to change, maybe. But as far as I'm concerned, of course, the result is pretty obvious. The cab is the biggest part of the deal. The amp, changing from a valve amp to solid state amp makes a clear difference, especially with the stuff I have at home. Maybe now, uh, if you're using some top-of-the-line uh, solid-state amp, the result is not going to be that clear, but okay, with these two uh, different amps that I have at home, uh, well, it's a night and day difference. And of course, what's interesting is that the Bugera is a very, very affordable amp, and really, I love it, because 200 bucks and this thing sounds great. I mean, I like it as far as clean tone goes. I like it as far as overdrive goes. Really, if you want it, uh, it's a good choice, I think. Really a good choice. And yes, the guitar is not what makes the biggest difference in the final result, but that's something we guitar players love to focus on. As you can see behind me, I've got a lot of guitars and you're not seeing them all, of course. But okay, we love changing guitars. We love buying new guitars. Not because of the final sound, but because of the touch, because of... I mean, that's where everything starts. So that's what matters the most to us, even though in the signal chain. I would not say it makes minor difference, but it's not the biggest difference. The cab is way beyond, and I think the amp is way beyond too. So well, uh, that's it for today. If you guys have any question, anything to say, of course you can leave comments uh, in the comment section down below. 
I'm going to put a link uh, to Toman and uh, you can find pretty much all the stuff I'm using and uh, the stuff that's not discontinued. For instance, the Blackstar IT60 TVP is discontinued. Uh, oh, I've been discontinued for two or three years now, I guess. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Of course, don't hesitate to uh, put thumbs up. Use my partner link that's going to be in the description down below if you buy anything from Toman, may it be uh, the stuff we have seen together or something else. It's going to help me make more videos on this channel, more content. And thanks for watching. See you next time.